everybody. We are back. My next guest is an Emmy award-winning journalist who co-hosts The View on ABC. She's also the host of the syndicated game show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Please welcome Meredith Vieira. Nice to have you on the show. I understand this is a happy day for you because you won a bet uh, last night. I did night. with Star Jones. I'm one of these long-suffering Red Sox fans, so this was a big deal for me. And we made a bet on The View that if the Red Sox lost, which everybody assumed they would, right. I was going to be dunked into a vat of baked beans. Uh -huh. And they had bought the dunk tank, the whole thing. They right. rented it. They had the beans. But if Star lost, if the Yankees lost, then she had to dress up like Johnny Damon, complete with the hair and the beard, right. and sing Centerfield, the John Fogarty song. So, oh, my God. The that's good television. History. It was yeah. great television. And you did that today? That's, we that's... did that today. She put on the uniform. She put the hair on. She put the beard on. She sang the song. Wow. Good yeah. for her. Yeah. Now, she was a great sport. Let's talk about you. And yes. we'll get back to Star later on because I'm obsessed. Uh, <laughs> you don't, you, you have a good quality. It's a quality that I really like, which is that you're not afraid to kind of embarrass yourself from time to time. Right. Uh, you, you, you're very open about things and you make mistakes and uh, when you're making your show, The View, uh, problems arise and you're, you're sort of not afraid of it, you embrace it. Is that fair to say? Yes. Okay. It is. Something happened recently that, that embarrassed you? Yes, on The View and it was sort of a big mistake. Can I demonstrate? Can you come around here so I can I just... don't know what it is. So well, can, I... It's okay. Okay. Just come around. All right. Okay. We have, like here, there's a green room. So we had on a um, performer. Right. Very lovely performer, and she had a band. And they were at the entrance to the green room, and I had to go back to get my hair and makeup touched up. Right. And I went by the guy, the guy standing there, and I bumped him like that. Right. And I went to grab his hand to say, I'm really sorry, except I grabbed his penis by mistake. You grabbed the guy's penis? Well, I didn't know it was his penis. At first I thought... Why can't you show me with a puppet, you know, like they do in court? Why do you have to bring me around to demonstrate this? I looked your hand keeps hovering. Well, what is that all about? You know what it was? You're like, I want to demonstrate it on Conan. Good thing I didn't come out of a cold tub right now, or we'd be in trouble. Right. First, I thought, right. first, I thought it was right. his right. hand, and I thought, oh, his wait, hand. wait, 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 wait! You thought it was his hand? I thought it was. None of this would hold up in court. Why did you think it was his hand? I, because it felt a little like a hand, and then as I, I lingered. No, 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 no! They don't feel like a hand. No, it felt like. Feel that, feel that, feel that. There's no, there's not. And then I realized, and then I didn't know what to do, so I sort of acted like I'd do that to everybody, and I just kept walking. Wait, you, so you tried to pass it off as, I always like to give a little squeeze a I roo, and I, I had to... <laughs> So I just kept You say walking. sorry for the, uh, for the old crotch grab, that's all. What you don't say is, I thought that was your hand. Because that starts to imply that you have this really skewed vision of what one of those things really is. I, I just didn't want to draw more. What does this say about your husband, you know? <laughs> Anyway, he didn't call, so I'm a little bummed. But other than that, it's okay. Right. So you got you got you got through it okay. That's I the important okay. thing. Yes, All right. Yes. Now I find this hard to believe, but you, one of your dream you 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 have what many people would think is a dream job, uh, which is you get to work on television. You seem like you have a good time. I do. But your real dream job? I really wanted to be a clown. A clown. I actually yes, I did. Nobody wants to be I, a clown. I, clown I, is last resort. No, no one no one's saying I wish to be a clown. The Barnum they? and Bailey Circus, they have this um, clown college and they came, I went to Tufts University and they came to demonstrate at Tufts and I realized it's very, very demanding work. It's very hard to do and physically sure. very difficult. But so I, you were at Tufts, which is a very good school, but mm -hmm. the clown college came through <laughs> yes. and you said, Hey, that looks like a good job. Why don't I head that way? I love kids and the whole thing. So they actually let me dress as a clown the whole thing and I went out to greet children and the children started crying. They, I scared them. And so you're so, a scary clown. I, I don't, I, I literally scared. They cried and some ran away. Right. And others like clutched their parents. So I realized I'm not a good clown. It's just not who I am. Right. I frighten people. Sure. So there you go. Right. So. Scary penis grabbing clown is what you are. <laughs> wake up, 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 wake up. That's what you are. And there's no room for that in the business. If I can find yours, I'm going to grab it, all right? <laughs> Missed. <laughs> Did you have it right there? Let's work a little closer there. Come on, baby! See, you reduced me. 
oh my god! I'm not this kind of person. I come on this show. That's and what you're... happens on this show. It's true. This show. What is mo- it about Some this shows show? try to elevate. That's no. not what we do. No, you do not. We have like Cronkite on the show, and in ten minutes, he's wearing a thong, running around. <laughs> That's Late Night with Conan O'Brien. That's the effect we have. You know Cronkite's actually a pretty wild guy? Yeah. He is, I remember... Oh, really? Have you grabbed him recently? But he is literally... Sorry, Walter, I thought that was your hand. (laughs) What do you want from me? I'm a clown. (laughs) He, like, he, but in his younger days, he would wear lampshades on his head at parties. Truly. Right, right, yeah, he was a wild man. That was in news for a long time. A lot of people with a button-down, repressed facade are wild men, uh, you Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, in their Uh private life? Bingo, okay. (laughs) That's all I'm trying to get to. Now, you're taking the view on the road, is that we're correct? We're going, yes, we're going to Dallas next Monday and Tuesday we'll be in Dallas, which is very exciting. Does that change, does that really, is it good to take your show on the road like that? Because, you know, you always see, like, someone like Regis is like, we're in Miami, and then it's the same thing, but he's like, I'm in Miami! <laughs> and then, uh, again, you don't it's know. It's a different kind of show, because the energy is a lot different, and people are screaming, 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 so it's hard to hear yourself talk. But, right. um, but it's great to take it out, because we have a lot of fans elsewhere that don't make it to New York to see the show live, so it's it's fun to take it on the road. Sure, And sure. I like cowboys. I like that whole thing. It's I fun. I bet you do. <laughs> Are you going to do any fun uh, things on the, you know, sort of, uh, you know, we're going to clean this th- show up. I swear to God. We're going to somehow, we're going to do something to it. We're going to clean it up. I'm going to be with the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders. Do oh. They're going to teach me a few tricks, That'll so to speak. Fun. Yeah. Um, and then what else am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, that's not a nice um, thing to imply. And, what? What? I said nothing wrong again. Exactly. I know I shouldn't imply you said anything. <laughs> tricks. Actually, tricks has many meanings. And tricks. It's, it's a very important trip because it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, as you know. It uh-huh. still will be. And we are going to um, reveal the, what's called the quilt of inspiration. And every um, quilt patch has, was made by somebody in the country, including some celebrities among us. Right. And it's going to be auctioned off on eBay, and all of the proceeds go to the Coleman Foundation. Well, that's good. That's, a very, a, nice that's a very good yeah. thing to do. What else are you going to do while you're there? We're going to reveal our breasts now. We're not going to. You're going to take your top off on the show. I bet you are. Uh, Well, what are you going to do? Anything else crazy while you're in uh, while you're in Texas? I'm going to go to Billy Bob's and learn the line dancing, and I'm going to ride a bull. You're going to ride a bull? Yeah, they have. They actually have real bulls, which shocked me. In this place, you can ride, but I'm going to ride the mechanical bull. Right. Have you ridden a a mechanical bull before? No. Is it hard? Have you ridden the bull? (laughs) (laughs) You seem the type who would ride a bull. Have you ridden a bull? What are you talking about? What does that even mean? <laughs> Why do I seem like because I'm a real macho man? Is that what you're trying to say? Someone who would get on a bull. Yeah. What? You like, do? Really? Have you ridden a no bull? one hit. No one would ever mistake me I... for the kind of guy that would ride a mechanical bull. I, I am the. I, I am probably the polar opposite of someone that's who'd be mistaken. Why I think that? Because as you said, it's those guys the more repressive. Oh yeah. Oh, I see. That. Oh, I might do it at night when no one's around. I might get on a bull and some leather assless chaps and ride around. But, but I'm not. You got that mental oh, image baby. going now? You thinking I'm about fine. it now? So attractive. <laughs> 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 I wish I was one of the I ladies of the view. Wouldn't I fit in on the view very nicely? You would fit in. Yeah. Well, you've been on a few times. Well, I've been on, but I'm saying it's one of the permanent uh, hosts, I think I would fit in. <laughs> the ladies of the view, the ladies of the view. There should be one guy in there and it no, should be me. No, we had guys, actually, and it's a disaster. Why? It, should, it doesn't because work? Because nobody really cares what you have to say. Truly. <laughs> Oh, you know, people don't care what guys have, have to, say? to say? The audience that comes to the view, they're not that interested. What? That's terrible. I know, but that's just true. They don't really care. I bet when I, if I was on that show and I started babbling, be, those ladies oh, would be baby. listening, you know? I got some pretty interesting, I got nothing. All right. <laughs> <sighs> the View airs weekdays on ABC. Yes, it does. And check your local listings. Are you still enjoying Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? You having it. a good time? You know what I found out today? You Missed have again. been in... <laughs> You have been in 15 millionaire questions. Did you know that? Through the years. Oh, yeah. Either as the wrong answer or the, the what subject. What do you mean the wrong well, answer? I, what does that mean, the wrong answer? Well, where you, it wasn't you that we were trying to pick. It was somebody oh, else. Oh, right, yeah. yeah who was the least ABC, sexy right. comic. Exactly, yeah. yeah, and then Conan. Eh, right, yeah, yeah. He's the sexiest. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. <laughs> I'll get it. Whoa! Yes, there was! (laughs) What do you think that was? (laughs) All right. Yeah? The O'Reilly factor in here, all right. We're going to take a little break now, but uh, thank you. Uh, you're going to stick around for the end of the show? You got, you're one of those guests that has to take off. <laughs> no, 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 especially since it's the explosion that's coming on, honey. That fits with everything we've been talking about. <laughs> I 
I like you. Uh, Meredith Vieira, we'll be right back. Explosion.